नमस्ते आई सिमरन कौशल वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस विद ओनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सीजन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट्स दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड अ यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्पर एंड स्किल्स साइंस विच इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस and technology to the discussion of the previous year questions and potential concepts which are important from the perspective of competitive exams let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to introduce to a science expert dr tv venkateshwaran who is here with us to answer the questions Dr. Devi Venkateshwaran is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, the first question for today is What is science behind the nuclear powered submarines? <coughs> so, if you look at uh, the uh, Harigant uh, class uh, uh, advanced technology vessel Uh, indian navy uh, asset this is actually called as a ballistic missile submarine or uh, in code it's called as ssbn okay uh, this one is actually powered by nuclear energy okay what do you mean by power by nuclear energy there is a small nuclear reactor inside which is uh, generating uh, uh, electricity and that electricity is used to run the turbines for uh, activating your uh, Uh, submarine and also for lighting or for various purposes you know basically it powers uh, that is the uh, nuclear powered okay so this is, in india we have one nuclear powered uh, submarine normally submarines have what is called as diesel generator so you have a diesel engine okay so this diesel engine work uh, using diesel uh, and then uh, it is uh, connected to a generator and uh, that generator uh, produces electricity that electricity is saved in uh, batteries and then it also can be used to uh, activate a electric motor and uh, with that electric motor i mean it can uh, work on the uh, uh, turbines of the submarine so that the submarine can move okay so there is a air intake and then there is a exhaust when you are talking about a diesel so when uh, the diesel uh, submarine goes inside the sea that is when it is submerged not on the surface obviously you cannot have air intake nor can you exhaust right so that means that at the time the diesel engines cannot work that time the battery uh, the store power in the batteries are used to operate the submarine so which means that the submarine can operate only as long as the batteries have power under the ocean okay nuclear power submarines are submarines where there is a small reactor with a nuclear reactor with a pressurizer steam generator and so on so this is a, a reactor this produces a steam that steam is used to uh, run a, a, a dynam i mean uh, a, a generator turbo generator a turbine and using that i mean you can create uh, electricity okay once you create electricity you can use that electricity to uh, uh, run a turbine Uh, run uh, electric uh, uh, powers inside etc one important difference is in this particular case there is no air requirement there is no exhaust so which means with this nuclear power you can be under water for a very very long time compared to a diesel powered uh, submarine okay so that's the important uh, difference i mean that was the important advantage uh, so basically when you are looking at military uh, uh, submarines there are two diesel powered nuclear powered okay in the diesel powered there are two kinds conventionally powered attack submarines conventionally powered ballistic missile submarines so which carry ballistic missile so ssk and ssb in the nuclear power you have uh, ssn so it's a nuclear powered attack submarine or ssbn which means that it carries ballistic missile and powered by uh, nuclear power so there are this uh, four classes uh, of uh, submarines which are there in the uh, uh, military submarine so if you are looking at the nuclear powered submarines uh, usa has a total of uh, 68 nuclear powered submarines uk has 11 russia has 
29 and uh, france has 8 china has 12 and india has 1 okay out of the total uh, submarines available in uh, various countries this is the uh, nuclear powered uh, submarines distribution around the world so the next question is what is project 75i what is the significance of this project So if you look at the uh, number of submarines per country around the world, okay, so you have uh, US, which has the largest submarine fleet, 68, and all of them powered by uh, nuclear power. And then uh, North Korea, interestingly, has uh, 71, but none of them powered by nuclear power. All of them are powered by uh, uh, diesel. Russia has uh, 49. Okay, so these are all the big numbers and China has uh, 59. India has 16 of which one is uh, nuclear power. Okay, so this is a uh, submarine availability around the world. So if you compare uh, India and uh, China, uh, the various classes of uh, uh, submarines. So when you are looking at the conventional submarines, which are diesel powered, okay, India has 14 and China has 47. When you are looking at the ballistic missile nuclear submarine, India has one and China has four. When you are looking at nuclear attack submarines, India has one and then China has five. So uh, the Indian Navy thinks that uh, it should have uh, a slightly larger fleet of uh, submarines to uh, protect the uh, coast of India and the oceans around India. So this uh, project 75I, I is uh, for uh, India is a follow up to the earlier project which is called as 75 project 75 so it's an advanced form of uh, project 75 so in the project 75 uh, the idea was to build a kalwari class submarine and a few submarines were built as part of the uh, project 75 so now under the project 75 i the idea is to develop six diesel electric submarines that is basically diesel uh, powered uh, submarines but with advanced air independent propulsion. So it will have advanced air independent propulsion. That will be the important key change. Okay, so that's the uh, key part of uh, Project 75I. So uh, what is this uh, air independent uh, propulsion? So if you want to run a diesel engine, we know that uh, the diesel engine require air, right? Oxygen, essentially. Uh, air for uh, so that the diesel engine can work. And then, of course, diesel engine will uh, generate exhaust, but that exhaust can be put out. So if the submarine is underwater, where do you get the air? So that is where this air independent power comes in. So what you have is you have a hydrogen generator, you have a liquid oxygen uh, uh, storage, you have fuel cell system. Basically, using this, what you do is that you create air inside. Basically, uh, you create uh, air inside using that uh, air uh, you run the diesel generator. So diesel generator will work even when you are under water, submerged. That is the idea of air independent power system. So which means for longer period of time, the submarines can be underwater. Okay. So uh, in the project uh, 75 India, that is project 75 I, six submarines are supposed to be built with a budget outlay of 50,000 crore. Uh, this was mooted in 2007. Uh, in uh, 2017, government came up with this idea of uh, strategic partnership model. And then recently, two Indian shipyards, that is LNT and uh, uh, the uh, Goa shipyard, uh, have been uh, shortlisted. Uh, and uh, these two shipyards are supposed to partnership with uh, one of the five foreign companies, uh, a Russian company, a German company, a Spanish company, a South Korean company to uh, produce this uh, six uh, uh, submarine. The uh, time it may take around two years for the contract to be worked out. And then uh, the submarines will be built in the next uh, seven to eight years. That's the uh, summon substance of Project 75i. Uh, 